Guru Joseph, Global Group Editor of Modern Plastics TV, here at uh, uh, Daimold India. Here with me, Mr. Pangaj Avengar, Executive Vice President and Business Head of Godrej Boys Manufacturing and Tooling. Uh, thank you for joining Modern Plastics TV. It's a pleasure. Could you please tell our viewers about uh, what is the latest trend happening in the tooling industry? And uh, uh, what are the latest innovation happening in the industry? So basically, you know, uh, Godrej at Godrej, we are at the forefront of uh, die casting and uh, sheet metal tooling. And uh, basically, uh, we all know how the electric vehicles trend is shaping up, not just uh, globally, but also the significant activities that are happening in our country. Uh, die casting actually is going to play a very big role as far as the electric vehicle goes and the light weighting properties of aluminium are something which are uh, leveraged and uh, the applications which are coming in in structural parts are seeing a, a paradigm shift in the way vehicles are made and the application of uh, the die cast toolings is happening. So electric vehicles is a big, uh, uh, going to be a big game changer for the industry. Likewise in sheet metal also, uh, you know the weight reduction, um, uh, the weight reduction efforts that uh, are being pursued uh, are resulting in more of high strength steel uh, usage and that's why we see a lot of uh, maybe uh, the high strength steel coming in, uh, the hot forming trends coming in and uh, these are some of the, uh, I would say, revolutionizing the uh, tooling industry per se also and also the automotive sector which is a big I think I would say the 60% of tooling goes to the automotive sector. So, uh, you know, that's where the big changes are there. Mm -hmm. Also, I see uh, one day Bharat Express con contribution. What, what was the contribution and how it has helped this one day, one day Bharat project? So at Godridge, we have been uh, well connected with uh, railways, Indian railways, and uh, we have been uh, instrument, uh, instrumental in actually beginning the automation journey with a lot of railway coach factories and the workshops. And uh, now we see railways uh, transitioning from the LHB coaches uh, to the Vande Bharat and uh, the automation that they need because we keep reading about it in the media of, you know, the sudden and the big need of the Vande Bharat coaches will uh, obviously result in a lot of automation in their shop floor processes. So that's where Godrich comes in to support all the automation projects which are being driven by the uh, railway coach factories and their workshops to maintain these coaches. And uh, we are providing platforms for their automations, uh, welding solutions and also uh, various uh, uh, equipment, standard equipment like manipulators, uh, lift jacks, etc., which are uh, a, a very important uh, part of the workshop equipment. As you know, India is emerging as a global player, and uh, people expecting India to be the next China or competing with China. How do you see this change? So yes, obviously there is. A, I would say. Uh, uh, a lot of, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, there, there is a little, sh uh, there is a big shift globally in terms of the, uh, what we call is China plus one, but I would say it's China plus whatever is possible for the global players. So they want uh, supply chains that are redundant. Uh, COVID has been a, a big learning uh, tool for uh, many organizations and they would want to keep their supply chains flexible, agile and India provides one big opportunity. And like today morning, uh, you know, we had one of the speakers saying that, uh, you know, uh, it's an opportunity and not something which we can take it straight on the plate. So a lot of work needs to be done to catch up uh, in the uh, way uh, the, the kind of uh, service levels and the uh, technical accuracies, etc., which Chinese industries offer. So there is that 
shift, uh, there is that gap which has to be filled. But uh, I'm very happy to see that there is a lot of uh, efforts happening with Indian industries trying to bridge that gaps with great speed. And I think uh, the government itself is also doing a lot to support Indian industry through various programs, PLI schemes, etc. I think that will be rapidly uh, helping to bridge some of these gaps. Godrej in India doing a great job for supporting the country. Thank you so much for joining Modern Plastics TV here at Diamond India 2024. We wish you all the success in the coming days. Have a wonderful time here at Diamond. Thank you. Thank you so much.